got wine glasses, yeah, we've got side plates, and fish knives and forks and soup spoons. Oh, quite a lot for our old dishwasher to handle. Oh, there he is now. <laughs> well, George, what do you think? Huh? What? Well, the table. Isn't it nice? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, they're a bit old for paper hats. Those are <laughs> napkins, George. Oh, God, going to be la di da are we? Dunking our after eights in the port. <laughs> They're only neighbours, you know. They're not people. Now, you listen to me, George. This is the first time I've invited the Four Miles Round to dinner. No, it isn't. You've asked them dozens of times. Yeah, well, it's the first time they've accepted. <laughs> I want you to be on your best behaviour, George. I mean, it's not much, but it'll have to do. Well, fancy asking them tonight. The Incredible Hulk's on. <laughs> I like it when he goes all green and bursts his shirt. <laughs> you are not watching television. It's a bit daft, really. You'd think he'd learn to whip his clothes off when he's getting knocked, wouldn't you? <laughs> We are having an evening of intelligent conversation. On the other hand, if he did take his clothes off and didn't get knocked, they'd probably arrest him. Yeah, a conversation, anyway. Yeah. Then that'd get him knocked and he'd go all green. Oh, George. <laughs> Will you please change the subject? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Wonder Woman's good. She whirls round and round and round when she's changing her clothes. How did you get on with the social security? Oh, uh, not very well. You'd think she'd screw herself into the ground, wouldn't you? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, not very well? Well, they, uh, they got a bit narky with me, Mildred. Well, they didn't go green or anything, but they said it's time I got a job. What, are you? The original unemployment figure? Oh. <laughs> it's worse this time, Mildred. They've actually fixed me up with an interview. They'll fail you. Oh, you're just trying to cheer me up. Oh, <laughs> honestly, George, you failed every other interview. <laughs> Traffic warden? <laughs> Too bad, Anne. There's a programme on tonight I wanted to see. <gasps> William Whitelaw being interviewed. Is he the one who turns a funny colour and bursts his shirt? No, no. That's Dennis Healy. <laughs> At nine o'clock sharp, you get a headache and we leave, right? Don't be like that. It's nice of them to invite us, Geoffrey. I don't think you should go if you don't want to. Uh, did you hear that, Anne? Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings. It wasn't him, it was me. <laughs> to go. Mildred's a very pleasant woman. But he isn't. I mean, the man has no conversation, Anne. I wouldn't mind, but it doesn't stop him talking. You are going to be polite, aren't you? <laughs> My own sentiments exactly. Traffic warden. Mm. Well, you've been turned down for worse jobs. I suppose being turned down for this one is a step in the right direction. Oh, they might not turn me down. I've got all the qualifications. What qualifications are needed? None. Right, you've got them. <laughs> now, George, I want you to make them welcome. Now, you understand? Now, make them feel at home. Yeah. Well, if they were at home, they'd probably have the telly on. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, do come in. Oh, no trouble with the babysitter? No, no. I'm afraid she arrived. <laughs> Sorry we're a little late. Oh, love, no. Come on, sit down. Only, uh, he was a bit sick on my dress before we left. Oh. Feeling all right now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Sherry? Oh, oh yeah, Tar. <laughs> <laughs> how's, uh, how's little, uh, you know, what's his name? Tarquin. <laughs> Very good name, that, isn't it? <laughs> He's fine. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> uh, how's the other one? Well, Tristram. No, he, he's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> How are yourselves? <laughs> Anne and Geoffrey. Uh, we're fine. Oh. Oh. <sighs> How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Good. We're missing the Incredible Oak, you know. <laughs> Fine. He's getting his form prize for English. What, in tonight's episode? Oh. <laughs> Tristram! Have you found someone to present the prizes yet? No, not yet. <laughs> Thank you. You know, uh, Mr Formile is chairman of the Teacher-Parent Association. Yeah, he would be. <laughs> but what we really need is a celebrity. Someone from sport or show business. I wondered about Russell Harty. Yes, I've wondered about him as well. <laughs> but I expect he's too busy. Uh, hi, uh... 
I'll tell you who would be good. Lou, Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno? Yeah. He plays the Incredible Hulk. He's on now, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'd excuse me, I'll just go and uh, stir the gravy. Yeah, well, that need both hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you, uh, sport and showbiz, if somebody else I'll tell you would be good at, you know, handing out prizes, Richard Burton. Oh, yes, we just pick up the phone and ask him. <laughs> well, I don't know if I've still got the telephone number, but I'll have a look. <laughs> what? Yeah, when do you want him for? Uh, well, in about five weeks, but... You know Richard Burton? Yeah, we were at school together. Done very well for himself, are you? But he'd be marvellous, but... Yeah, I'm not making any promises, mine, but he might do it just for me. <laughs> good Lord. Well, that's incredible. Fancy Mr. Roper knowing Richard Burton. Yes. What? <laughs> there you met him, Mildred. Used car salesman for Mackney. <laughs> <laughs> He's the area darts champion, quite a celebrity. I don't think so, George. <laughs> Different one. Yes. How's your headache come along? <laughs> Send in the next applicant, will you please? It's a Miss, um, Miss Anderson. Oh, thank you. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, uh, you're not a Miss. Well, no, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Roper, George Roper. Uh, two two o'clock appointment. I'm sorry I'm late, but I had a hell of a job parking. Bloody traffic wardens lurking about. <laughs> There's half of them. <laughs> 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 Just doing their duty, of course. <laughs> Quite. Roper. Here we are. Uh, do sit down, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have your application here. Name, yes. Height. <clears throat> hmm. You've nothing against sex. <laughs> <laughs> Not in moderation, no. <laughs> Male. Previous employment. Uh, you were a bus conductor for a year. That's right. How did you come to leave that? I got kicked upstairs. <laughs> Promotion? Yeah. No, a couple of yobbos. They wouldn't pay the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, are you in good health? Oh, yeah, very nicely. Thank you. Yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, very well, thank you. And uh, what attracts you to the life of a, a traffic warden, Mr Roper? Uh, well, it's the open air, you see. And the money, of course. All those six quid fines, they soon add up, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Actually, you don't get those. The magistrate does. Oh, well, say no more. <laughs> Do you know the meaning of the yellow band round the hat? Yeah, it means you can't park on it. <laughs> <laughs> it means that you are identifiable as a servant of the public. Now, there are some members of the public who do look upon wardens as little Hitlers. <laughs> shocking, shocking. <laughs> but this is not so. We are there to help them. To be sympathetic, cheerful, friendly, and... Yes? What? Well, why bother me with... <laughs> Have you parked a motorbike on a zebra crossing? <laughs> Yeah? Guess what? Oh, you're looking pleased with yourself. They turned you down. Yeah, but no. <laughs> no, no, I've got it. What? Yeah. Oh, well, it's a bit dicey at first, but they said what we've been under man, you see, and after four weeks' training, they could, um, they, what was the phrase they use? Something about silk purse. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they're going to give me a chance. You mean you've, you've actually got a j brandy? Well, oh, yeah. No, <laughs> Yeah. And you don't mind? What? Uh, well, no, not really. I mean, uh, I've been thinking, you see. I mean, uh, traffic warners have got a lot of power, haven't they? Uh, anyone you don't like, zonk, six quid pine. <laughs> <laughs> Move along there, or I'll have you. Don't you argue with me, or I'll clap you in irons. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you're going to need that four weeks' training course, George. Yeah, then there's the glamour of the uniform. Oh, it gets women going in uniform, does Well, a traffic warden's uniform gets everyone going, George. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Donnie, you're going to have to get used to being unpopular. 
<laughs> it won't make any difference at all. <laughs> Traffic warden? Yes. Of course, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but, you know, at least you'll be bringing a, a wage packet into the house. They do still put wages in packets, don't they? <laughs> oh, I think so. Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr Fourmile. Yes, and Tarquin's a little damp again. Oh, he's gaining on me. Change him, will you, Geoffrey? Me? He is half your son. Why do I get the damp half? <laughs> Has he found his celebrity yet, you know, for this school thing? Well, sort of. He's persuaded the mayor to do it. Oh, how exciting. Will he be wearing his clothes? I hope so. <laughs> oh, you know, dear, his, his robes and his chain and all that. I don't know. You should come along and meet him. Bring Mr Roper. Oh, I'd love to. And I put him on it, and he did it again. <laughs> George, is that you? Yeah, come on, Mildred. <laughs> uh, how did it go today? Uh, oh, uh, all right, all right. <laughs> um, I've got me full wash name. <laughs> You look almost handsome. <laughs> Steady on, Mildred. I know what uniform does to you. I don't want it torn. Oh. <laughs> oh. Give us a twirl. Oh, no, that'd be silly. <laughs> Go on. Go on. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. I feel a bit like Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you've even got a little handbag as well. Handbag? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, um... What do they teach you today? Oh, oh, a lot of legal stuff. You wouldn't understand it. Well, I might. I doubt it. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, Bill, dear. Look, yeah? got my first pay packet today. Oh! <clears throat> <laughs> of course, it's, uh, it's not full wages, you see, not while I'm training. <laughs> oh, well, it's a start. Yeah, uh, and a uh, couple of weeks' time, there'll be overtime and that sort of thing, see? Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, uh, yeah Mildred, mm. we're going to have to decide how we're going to divide this. No problem, George. <laughs> you have that bit, I'll have this. friendly neighbourhood traffic warden for getting his sandwiches, can we? <laughs> it was the excitement. Oh, it's his first day. I'm sure he'll be very good at it. <laughs> Don't you argue with me. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't park there. Now, shift it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky beggar. <laughs> Dear. They're your favourites. Mushy peas and sausage. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Formile gave me a lift. Oh, uh, uh, very kind of you. Uh, right now, move along, you're on a double yellow line. Come on, come on. <laughs> Sat on the mat. Three letter word beginning with C. <laughs> Very tricky, that is, isn't it? Um, oh, of course, cow. <laughs> George, what do you think? What are you dressed up like a dog's dinner for? I'm trying on my outfit, George, you know, for the prize giving this afternoon for Tristram School. Yeah, you know who's going to be there. I know who isn't going to be there. You're coming. <laughs> you a lot of influential people there, George. The mayor. I only get one half day off, Mildred. But there'll be people there that will drop a word in the right ear. Yeah, well, that's where I'll be. What? Right here. Oh. <laughs> you will come home. You will change into your best suit and you will meet me at two o'clock at the school. Oh. George, yeah. do you think I ought to wear my little fur stole? Oh, cool, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, find your cat, Tristram. See if it's in your satchel. 
Are you ready, Jeffrey? Almost. And did you have to invite the Incredible Hulk and Wonder Woman? <laughs> a chance for them to meet people and make friends. Or enemies. And let's face it, Anne, they are not our sort of... How nice to see you, Mrs. Roper. <laughs> yes. Oh, I am looking forward to it. Oh, Mr. Roper not coming? Uh, oh, he'll be along later. He's, uh, he's working this morning. Ah. Uh. Now, look, tell me, what do you call a mayor? I mean, uh, do you say uh, sir or do you say your worship? Well, Geoffrey calls him snotty. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you should. Um, you didn't go to school with him. No. No, no, I didn't, no. Quite. Uh, I'll bring the car round. Oh, right. Ooh. Now, relax, Mildred. There's no need to be nervous. Well, what makes you think I'm nervous? Well, you've got both earrings on the same here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hello, so glad you could come, Mrs. Hamilton Jones. Charles, Mrs. Hamilton come and meet the mayor. Worship the mayor, Mrs. Hamilton we Jones. Mrs. Charles. Mrs. Rumpert, yes, that's the headmaster. Oh, yeah, I should be careful of him. He gets hold of your ear. Oh, uh, I'll watch out for that, dear. Headmaster. Ah, four mile J. Lax application, yes? Yes, sir. Stink bomb in the lavatory, hmm? That was a long time ago, sir. <coughs> you know my wife. Hello. Proper little tinker you've got there. Uh, which one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, four mile tea, upper five A. Could do better. That's him. Good. Cut along, boy. Take your place. I think I'll go and have a word with Snotty. Uh, <coughs> oh, uh, this is Mrs. Roper. Roper, hmm. Uh, do you have a little monster here? He'll be along later. <laughs> yes, he's, um, he's working. Good. Would you like to see the mayor? Um... Ah, Crombie Fitchem. Must try harder, yeah? And you uh, know my wife, Anne, of course. Of course. Hello, Trevor. Hello again. Oh, uh, and this is our next door neighbour, Mrs. Roper, the mayor. How do you do, Your Worship? <laughs> John. Uh, my husband will be along any minute. Oh, he'd love to meet you. Is he in local government? Uh, yes, he's a tra... <laughs> he is a vehicle flow coordinator. <laughs> really? Well, that sounds very impressive. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you're not even changed. Yeah, I know, but you see what happened was... I was Get in there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. George, what happened? You're all dusty. Yeah, well, it's this builder's lorry, Mildred. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, it's a um, terrible trouble I was. Oh, yeah, well, take your jacket off, come well, on. Oh, yeah. Well, I was uh, writing out a ticket, you see, for yeah. the driver when his mate sneaked up behind me and shoved a cement bag over me head. <laughs> for you to go home and get changed. Well, I couldn't. I forgot me key. Oh, really? I mean, look at this cement. Yeah, well, it's lucky it wasn't raining on my way here. I never made it. <laughs> get your trousers off. Oh, don't start there. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't give them a good shake-out. Well, come on. I want to go home. Yes. Yes, well, perhaps that would be the best. What? Well, I can't introduce you to important people looking like that. Oh, <laughs> I see. I'm not good enough for your fancy friends, is that it? I think that sums it up. Yes, go on. Certainly not. Uh, George, there's not often I ask you to do something for me, but it... <laughs> I'm not interrupting anything, am I? What? Oh, no! Oh, no, <laughs> no love, no. Only we're going into the hall. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be right along. Yeah, so will I. <laughs> By asking the headmaster to grant all the boys an extra half-day's holiday. <laughs> That was you, wasn't it? Right in the middle of the mayor's speech. Oh, it wasn't me, it was them leather cushions. Oh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> now, George, you just behave yourself. If you want to speak to anyone, don't say anything. Oh, thank you, dear. Excellent speech, Headmaster. Of course, my Latin is not what it was. I should hope not. It used to be terrible. <laughs> amo, amas, amat. What comes next? Hmm? Uh, um, <laughs> he could never decline to love. He hasn't changed much, then. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, 
headmaster. Oh, I did so enjoy your speech. Oh, this is the head what's name, is it? Uh, uh, <laughs> especially that little bit in Italian. Uh, uh, Roper, George Roper. How do you do? I don't go along with private education. Oh, my God. Uh, George. I mean, not all I that Latin rubbish. I mean, who speaks Latin apart from the ancient Greeks? <laughs> Lingua est qua scientiae velut januam aperere potes. No maram esse commonum linguam qua docti multarum gentium ad loquantur alii alios sabere. Yeah, well, there is that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could all be doing woodwork, couldn't they? <laughs> Mrs. Roper. Oh, Your Worship. Oh, I did so enjoy your speech. Thank you. Oh, you're the mayor, eh? Uh, Roper, George Roper. Hey, what about our dustbins? Oh. <laughs> Take your pardon. Well, you didn't collect them last week, did you? I don't do it personally. <laughs> it's your lot, though, isn't it? Oh, George, for pity's sake. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he's not himself. He, he had a cement bag pulled over his head. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> All the dog doings in our road, you're responsible for hey, them, too, aren't you? Dog, come <laughs> oh, yeah, come Ah, yeah, and another thing. Only having boys here. I mean, that's liable to turn them all into raging boys. Uh, George! <laughs> <laughs> now, look, here is my key. Now, go home. Yeah, I want to I discuss religion with the vicar. Go home! Oh, <laughs> Do you know that fellow? Good heavens, no. No, uh, ah, Tristram. See my book, What I Run for English? <laughs> he had to go, but I'm still here. Yes, um, uh, we can't stay too long, Anne. Four miles car. It's gone 4.30. Can't park here after 4.30. <laughs> now listen to me. Yeah, just a minute, please. Here we are. <laughs> Any chance of a lift home, son? <laughs> Thank you. 